Now, you may be thinking of hunkering down at home for the winter. That's what we like to do. But our resident travel writer, Debbie Griffiths, thinks that not only should we be heading outside, we should be heading south. Morning, Debbie. Hi. Yeah, I'm talking deep, deep south. I just got back from Invercargill. As you can see, really hit my sweet spot. When you think of our southernmost city, you think Bert Munro, Scottish heritage and southern hospitality. But have you heard of the chocolate? Seriously good. Jane Stanton makes chocolates using a family recipe with an innovative twist. The powder used to coat the marshmallow, that's freeze-dried grape skin. When infused with the chocolate, it's arguably the most authentic wine chocolate in the world. Our point of difference is we use the company's wine, we go to the winemaker, we match the wine and the chocolate so the flavour's coming through. Some have got lychee, some have got pepper, you name it. So we try to get it as close as. Jane is still hands-on making chocolates and yes, it is as hard as I make it look. She's always dreaming up new flavour combinations. We do a power which is Zambucalipus and coconut cream, cut it open and it looks like a power. The fizzy wine, you know, your champagne and stuff, how do you get the fizz? Well, we found those fizzy lollies. So we'd get the champagne and fizzy lollies and so it's... Almost a science experiment. Yeah, well it's about thinking outside the square. For lunch, the Batch Cafe, renowned for its decadent home baking and tasty, wholesome meals. The focus is on coffee, which has won its owners an impressive swag of awards. Customers sharing the sense of pride. I love to bring friends and family from all over to come and say this is our the best cafe in New Zealand sort of thing and it's just, yeah, it's pretty humbling. We like to have it as pretty relaxed as we can. Um, it's very casual obviously when it gets busy there's people sitting together and quite often they don't know each other at the time but they know each other by the end of their meal. Walk off the calories in Queen's Park, the 200 acre jewel in the centre of Invercargill. OK, so let's talk weather. It rarely snows in Invercargill and August is actually the month with the least rain, so dress up warm and you're set. This is the Kathmandu Frisco jacket. It's insulated with duck down and it's water resistant as well, so it's ideal for these conditions. Transport World is 15,000 square metres of trucks and cars, the largest private collection of its type in the world, started by late local businessman Bill Richardson. People are often really blown away by Texaco. That is one of only three restored in the world. We've certainly tried to create an attraction that has something for everyone and that something that women will enjoy as well as families and that's why you find wearable art mixed with vintage trucks and vintage cars or Lego spaces or a great cafe. We've had 27,000 people through in six months of being open so it's been really positive and really exciting to see. For luxury with a touch of Africa, stay at Safari Lodge, a five-star heritage B&B with beautiful mod cons and decorated with the owner's photographs and art from their time in Mozambique. Wow, that looks absolutely incredible. That accommodation looks amazing. Yeah, Ray and Trish really looked after us. And knowing their local knowledge, you know, when you stay at a and b you've yeah. got the owners there who are born and bred, and they love the area so much, they share so much information with you. And the chocolate, absolutely <gasps> fascinating. It must have been yes. incredible to make that. And it's practically good for you. It's got grape skins and local fruit and freeze-dried fruit in there. And we've brought some along for the audience as well. I did see that. So if you're in the audience today, you're getting chocolate. Yeah. You've chosen the right. Great day, well done. And I take it there's also enough for maybe a host or two as well? Oh, yeah, and you know what? Yes, there right. is something for a host. Yeah. <laughs> and chocolate. we might throw something in for the cooking as well, for Mark's cookies, OK? So a bit of chocolate in the cookies there, maybe some sheep poo chocolate from Seriously Good Chocolate. Yeah, that actually sounds really good. Well, Debbie, thank you so much. And your trip looked absolutely incredible. Can't wait to see where you go next week as well. I know we're all off to book our winter holidays in Southland.